Okay, welcome to the Crow Discovery Project. I've got some solar filming to show you from today, and I'm still going through Eclipse footage. I'll have some other stuff up before too long. A lot of files to go through. Um, as I went out today, high altitude chem planes were spraying, making focus very tough. Here is a shot without the double stack on the end. And uh, what I'm going to do is leave some of the adjustment and uh, ISO settings and stuff in to the uh, clips that I'm showing you today so you can kind of see the process. That'll be closer to the end. Without the double stack, you tend to see a bit more prominence most of the time. Sometimes that's not true. Um, with the double stack, you get a lot of surface detail. So what we're seeing here is just the same clip processed through, you know, contrast, color inversion, and things like that. This is speeded up to show a little bit of the dial in on the uh, Edelon which uh, adjusts part of the focus. So as I was shooting today, uh, a couple things did go through frame and I'll show them to you, but I'm going to need a few hundred more hours of telescopic filming on the sun to feel comfortable making a call on what any of these things are. I think the first one is almost certainly a bird. Um, I did glance up, I didn't see him, but I'm pretty sure it's a bird. The second one, I don't know what it is. Um, it's in a pretty straight trajectory. We'll take a look at it in a second. Anyhow, here's the prominences that were um, mostly visible throughout the filming today. And on the right, in one of the views, you can see that the prominence is coming over the limb of the sun. There's a pretty good view right there. And most of the views where it's improved, you really have to do it in the editing room because the DSLR chip doesn't handle H-alpha that well. But uh, I'm going to be getting some tools pretty soon here that should help with that and there's a pretty good view of the prominences. Now this is, there, there was the object that went through and I'll slow it down once. I'm pretty sure this one's probably a bird. In the daytime there's a lot of things flying so um, that differs. At nighttime there's not that many things flying here. Now over here one's gonna shoot across. There it goes. It's in a pretty straight trajectory. It has kind of the look of some of the things we filmed transiting the moon but again, I'm going to need a lot more experience with the solar scope before I'm comfortable um, trying to make a call on what these things are. Not sure. You know, we're blocking about, I don't know, 90 some percent of the light, so I've just got to get used to the tools and become more familiar. And uh, in filming the sun, I'm doing the reverse of what I did at the moon. I spent years learning about the moon just to understand that I need to unlearn a lot of what I was told about the moon. With the sun, I'm doing the reverse of that. Um, I'm going to teach myself as I go along uh, what seems important to me, and I will occasionally reference that with what we are told about the sun. So there's the focus. Watch the prominence. You'll see the prominence come in and out as I'm adjusting the etalon and the blocking filter and the focus ring. And here's the final view we're going to take there's the best prominence of the day although the one in the lower left limb did at times look pretty good it was just the focus was so difficult with the uh, chem planes flying at high altitude you can see it looks like all the light is diffracted so I have completed my second article for the higher side chat I think Greg is going to post that tomorrow um, when he does I'll provide a link in the next clip that I do if you go to the higher side chat and click on the blogs link you'll find Crow's Corner there which you can see in the lower left and that is my first article the second one will be up soon so there it is and there will be more to come as soon as I get through the footage I'm reviewing cheers